Will Save the Cat Save Your Writing Career? Stay tuned to find out. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Laura and I write young adult fiction. And I post videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday about writing and writing related stuff. And so today's video is the first of, I hope, many review videos where I review writing craft books. I love to learn. It's the former academic in me. I love to learn new things. I love to read books about topics that I'm interested in. So of course I'm interested in writing. So I want to read all the books about writing I can. So the first one I thought made the most sense to review was Save the Cat Writes a Novel. So what my plan is, is I'm going to read these books and then I'm going to tell you what I think. I'll basically give you a rundown of the books. I'll tell you what you can expect from them, pros and cons. And then I'm going to, I'm going to label each book either a must buy or optional buy. So let's get started on talking about Save the Cat Writes a Novel. Okay. So First of all, I want to say that if you are very familiar with the screenwriting version of Save the Cat Writes a Novel, a lot of this information probably won't be new. Even if you haven't read that, I wouldn't say this is chock full of new information. However, I think there is enough in here to warrant buying it anyway um, because there is a lot of explanation and there is some additional stuff that I'll get to in just a little bit but I wanted to kind of make that clear because that seems to be a criticism or a concern of getting this book because they're like I'm already familiar with that but I do think this has value and I think seeing the application of this to popular novels and the the um, explication of some of it is really really helpful for that so even if you are familiar with the text um, I don't think that that means this has nothing new to provide. So first though, before I get really into my review, let's talk about what you can expect from this book. So let me break it down. The first section you have is like the why do we care? And this is really where she sets you up to come up with a, like take your premise into a book. And really she focuses, um, Jessica Brody focuses on, on coming up with your hero and she really talks about some distinct things that you need she basically breaks it down to you need to have a problem you need to have a want and you re need to have a need so i think she really explains that in a really clear way um, of what you need to do with your hero and able to make it a book that people are going to want to read then she goes into the beat sheet which is the main reason why most people buy this book is for the breakdown of the beat sheet i um I'm going to save all my opinions on this stuff till the end, but basically she breaks down all the different beats. Now, when she goes over the beat sheets, she does this quick summary of all of them. Then she goes really in depth with each of the beats. One of the things that I think is really valuable in this is she talks about not only each beat, she gives why it should be included and how it should be included. And she tells you which of these should be single scene or multi scene. Then after that, she breaks down what she says that all stories ever told, all of them can break, be broken down into 10 different types. And she really goes into depth on each of the types, what each type should include. She gives you examples. Some of them you wouldn't even expect would be that kind of type and how they sort of function and how that unique genre type should have these additional things included in their beats so then that is a major major section of this book um, because she goes really in depth in all ten types and gives prime examples and breaks them down then after that she does have a section on pitching and in the pitching section she talks about log lines and summaries and how you should write them um, so she gives you a formula for a log line, which is a one sentence synopsis of your story, and then how to do a one page summary. And then the last section is a Q&A where these are common questions that she got when she was teaching this uh, Save the Cat in some courses that she taught. So that covers like where to start, how to organize the beats, what to do if you have more than one character, what to do if you have an unlikable hero, and then also if you get stuck. And then the very last section, she shows how beat sheets can change that even though you may have this all plotted out, when you're writing, things still change. So she shows a beat sheet before she wrote a book, and it's one of her books, and then an after of what it looked like when she re-plotted it um, based on what she wrote for her first draft. So that is what all of this book covers. Now, let's talk really generally about the pros and cons before my overall thoughts on it. So pros, has a lot of, it has exercises at the end of every section to help you apply this to your own book. There are checklists for you to use also for your own books. And she provides 
template. So she gives a template on how to write a log line and how to write a um, one page synopsis. Another thing that I think is a pro is she talks a lot about how to give you uh, narrative arcs, right? That's what the beats really are. It's how to keep your reader engaged by pulling at their emotions, pulling back, pushing, pulling, where to be up, where to be down, how to keep that going so that your reader stays engaged and interested and it helps with your pacing. And she gives a plethora of examples of really, really popular text and how they definitely follow this and how basically every story follows this. And if you can follow this, then you will have your structure down. And she doesn't just say like, here are the beats. She gives the why these are beats and how they should be done. So that I think are the big pros of this book. Now, some cons, if you've already studied Save the Cat, like I said, a lot of this may not be new information, although I do believe her explanations and explications of other stories is worth it. So it if for nothing else, at least looking at her examples and how people apply the theory um, in contact. Another concern I saw some people saying was that that makes you makes you feel like you're writing formulaically but you know what i love a good formula if you can show me how to plug things in it's still your ideas it's still interesting this is just how most stories are written i'll tell you a little story when i was in creative writing class in college they didn't let us write genre fiction so like science fiction fantasy stuff like that my teacher said it was because those were formulaic and they all just follow the same form but i'm going to tell you after reading this book all books follow a form okay they all do she she has convinced me. She has shown enough examples of very, very, very popular texts, texts that you may think are not formulaic at all. She shows how they actually follow these formulas. So I have news for you. You know who you are, creative writing teacher. Everything's a formula. How dare you try to discourage us from writing genre fiction. But she really convinces us that this is a tried and true formula that even people like Stephen King, Lee Bardugo, um, Kiara Cass. I mean, anyone that you can think in any genre, in any category, they're using these formulas. So really, I think one of the biggest uh, cons of this is it does spoil a lot of popular texts because she really breaks it down. So here's what I'll say about that. Number one, I don't know. I don't really mind spoilers, so I don't feel as bad about that. I kind of just want to say get over it. Um, that's not me being very sensitive about the topic, though. There are books in here that I thought maybe someday I would read, but let's be honest, who knows if I'm actually going to read them. And it just gives the summary. I mean, yes, it's really specific. It does give an ending, but I read this cover to cover rather than using it as a reference, which I think that's how you should read it. I think when you first get it, you should read it cover to cover. And then as you're writing books, go back to reference things. As you can see, I put tons and tons of notes of where I could find things in the book later for reference. Um, but yeah, if you hate spoilers, that might be a little hard to see some of her explications um, because she does break it down. But I feel like personally, it was worth it to spoil a couple of those books for me to understand but you could really just skip those if you wanted you can still read her general she just used those as examples and you can just like, skip the examples but my personal opinion is just read the spoiler -y things I mean come on if not if it's gonna spoil a book then hurry up and read that book okay what are you waiting for they're, they're not like super new books you know okay so if you couldn't already tell from the way I was kind of skewing this review I highly 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 recommend this book this I would consider a must buy for anyone writing a novel, any kind of novel. I feel like her explanations make perfect sense and I just finished a first draft and I'm getting ready to revise and then I read this and here's what I'll say. I hit a lot of these beats already. I would say I hit the majority of them, but now I know some tweaks I need to make so that it's better, better structure, better plot. And there's some that I completely missed or I have backwards and the way she explains them. And now that I think about how I'm going to fix my story to fit this, I can tell it's going to be better. It's like one of those things when you're in college and you write a really great essay and you think it's super awesome and then your teacher gives it back and she makes all these suggestions and at first you're like, girl, you don't know what you're talking about. What I wrote is brilliant. That's just your opinion about how it should be done. But then you make the changes anyway and you're like, oh shoot, girl was right. She was right. It's better. It's better. That's what I feel. I feel like, yeah, could I write a book without this? Absolutely. Is my book going to be better for reading this and following this? Absolutely. I cannot recommend this enough. I, I just, I can't really see a downside. I really, really don't. I think it is super helpful. I think her showing examples is very convincing. I think that the language is very accessible and, and it's sort of fun. Here's what I will say. You don't want to follow her formula? Okay. You don't want to buy into her genres? Okay. If for nothing else, 
The formula she provides for a log line and a synopsis is worth the price of the book, okay? And you can go a little rogue if you want to. She even talks about that, that some books maybe move things around or whatever. I mean, of course, at the end of the day, it's your book, so you make decisions about things, but I don't think there's anything wrong with having an outline, an explanation that helps you so that you're making the best book possible. So definitely, definitely, 100%, not just recommend I say it's a required text for anyone who's writing now I did look at some cons of some people it has very few bad reviews one of them said basically the complaint was like but it doesn't tell you what like what I should do in that beat like what kind of story what kind no one's gonna write the book for you that's where you come in okay you fill in the details she's giving you structure this book is about plot structure narrative arcs it's not going to give you your character names it's not going to tell you where to take them it's not going to tell you the setting of your book hello that's where you come in okay if you're looking for someone else to write your book sweetie it's called a ghostwriter hire one okay so again awesome book totally changed my life gonna totally change my book I will never ever ever write another book without using this that's just the truth how about those of you who have read it what did you think of it and I want to ask did you read it cover to cover because I feel like some people just kind of went in and use it as a reference book and while I think you can do that after you read it I do think you need to read the entire thing to really get the gist of everything and then I think you can go back and reference things so if you read it comment down below let me know what you thought of it do you think that this is a must buy for all writers also in the comments what craft books would you recommend for me to read I'm doing a whole series where I'm gonna read a ton of craft books and give you guys reviews of them so please comment down below and let me know what books you think I should read since I haven't this is the only craft book I've ever read or which ones you would like me to review all right guys well that's my review if you do want to purchase this book I will leave a link down in the description over to Amazon you can go ahead and click right over there and order it right away or if you want to take a little look inside of it but again I highly doubt most of the books I'm gonna read are going to be must buys but I would definitely put my name behind this one as a must buy 100% worth its price all right guys well I hope that review was helpful for you and if it was please be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you have not yet please make sure you hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my other further reviews or the other writing content that I do put up on my channel and as I said I post videos every Tuesday Thursday and Sunday and I will see you in the next one thanks for watching guys bye